Why don't we jump right into our next topic here? Um, NCIX US is back online, ladies and gentlemen. Oh and I'm, yes, okay. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna, so no, excited. no, no. You don't get to look at it yet. Don't spoil oh. it, Luke. Don't spoil it. Okay, hold on. I just got to add a window capture here. Gotta get to get my get my get my window capture. Got to have more windows. Okay, uh, window capture. Yeah, existing one. Window capture two. I don't know what window capture two is, but it's it's the right thing. So that was super lucky. Yay. <laughs> Let's just make that a 16 by nine ish kind of thing we're looking at. Okay, you ready? You ready? Okay, okay. Is it is it us.ncx? Man, that's such a it's such a ref it's like muscle memory. I typed ncix.com into my browser. I'm going to US. Nobody cared about the US site. It was totally no. the redheaded stepchild. Um is it okay. US dot? NCIXUS.com. Oh, Here we go. Worse. Three, two, one. Enter. You ready for it, guys? Doesn't load that fast. It's not Probably fast. Probably because the whole show is trying to access it. Oh, wait. Are time. you guys going to ruin this for everybody? <laughs> like... Oh, dang it. Oh, it's it. loading. Why it's did loading. I... Okay, there we go. Here we go. Oh, wait. yeah. You see that hot pepper action? Sale. It's Sale. It's still loading. I think they mean save 40 to 80%. Okay. Great discounts on the hottest items. We got that pepper. You got to hurry to buy. You can buy some pepper. Hold on. Let's have a look at what we got in here. Oh, final what? sale. 16 gig A-series Walkman video MP3. All right. Should I buy one? What, what is even this? is this? Okay, so we got that. Uh, what else we got? We got the 8 gig E-series Walkman is this video. Is just like a dropship site now? Okay, hold on, hold on. Luke, we're exploring together. Oh I my actually God. have not oh looked at it. Look at the about us. Look at the about us. The about us. 3993 Hanover Street. Call is free. Sales at example.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. About company. Hold on. Let's 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 find out about us. Hey, this is actually the original URL in cixs.com slash contact. Oh, wait, no, it might have been contact us. You guys, come on, guys. Everyone watching the show, you guys, you got to get off the site so that we can all enjoy it together here, all right? You got to you gotta help me out here. Okay, my WAN show brethren. What else we got? We got $30 white t-shirt, okay? Uh, you know what? I know where you can, I know where you can get a better deal on a t-shirt. Uh, by a lot. LTTstore.com. Yeah. By the way, this is your opportunity to vote, guys. You want me to shave the beard? You got to get the clean shirt. If you love the beard, you got to get the beard shirt. Whichever one sells more is what I'm going to keep for the rest the of the year. Right now? I actually have no yeah. idea. Um, Nick doesn't. Nick doesn't tell me anything anymore. He's you should call them. They're open for one minute. No way. Are they open? Okay, hold on uh, a second. 6 p.m. on Friday. There's no they're open for one minute. There's no. Oh, they're well. They're in New York. Well, I mean, oh. they may be in New York. We can give it a shot, though. We can give it a shot. Okay, here. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. It's free. It's free to call. Apparently. <laughs> call is free. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I just. I want to. I want to know. So, Okay. Not in service. Not in service. Not in, I mean, are we surprised, Luke? Are we really that surprised? I mean, sales at example.com. Do you think you're going to get a bounce back, Luke? I think you're maybe going to get a bounce back. <laughs> also, I find it interesting. Oh. So even even the address and everything is is fake -o. Oh. Do you what about the reviews? You guys have the best customer service known to man. I have always been impressed with how fast you help us out. Meanwhile, the comment is from November 2013. <laughs> yeah, because like I noticed the, the how to reach us. It's yeah. so awkwardly specific. We are located near Hanover Street bus stop. Once you get off the bus, <laughs> walk towards the bank and turn left by the entrance. Walk 200 meters and turn right. Now go down the street until you see the demo store sign. What? Enter the doors under this sign. What? Seriously? Yeah. That's ridiculously specific. I mean, <laughs> for all I know, maybe that's a totally normal thing for New York-based stores because it can be a bit of a maze there. I, I will say that. 
Look at look at uh, just highlight your mouse over the video games category. Um, also, yeah, none of those none of those things at the top load. Okay, video games: Nintendo Wii, PlayStation Three, PlayStation Vita, X Dash Box One. And what's with these brands? Like, if we go on the on the main page, I, I had it loaded before, but I'm having a bit of a hard time now. But the the brands that they carry are so random. Like, make, yeah. holy crap, Creative Zen Touch 2? Contact us for price. Are you even kidding? Like, price too low to show. Wildwood City <laughs> Classic Bike? The page is just, like, basically completely dead for me now, unfortunately, at this point. But I was having way too much fun with this, and I would have loved to uh, enjoy it some more. Yes, yeah, cell phones, Apple, iPhone, HTC, Motorola, Nokia, Samsung... You know what's kind of bizarre, though, Luke, is some of these things actually look kind of weirdly familiar. Like MP3 speaker systems, right? Who would call it MP3 speaker system? That's not a terminology that's like ever been used by anyone ever except NCIX. <laughs> Part of me is actually kind of wondering if if some aspect of this is running on the NCIX backend. It could also just be like like I like if, if they're trying to launch it like if this demo store thing whatever whatever company actually powered by multi vendor shopping cart software SimTech. SimTech. Yeah, maybe not. Then maybe not. Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, so this brand stuff, so the the logo, the four boxes with the one extra box thing and all that kind of stuff, that is this CS cart like uh like pre-done framework thingy that they're using. Okay, like the similar products one? Uh no, just the logo, the demo store thing. Oh, so like okay. whatever platform they're running yeah. or or framework or whatever this is. Yeah. Um they they could have just tried to port whatever they had over interesting and like ncx had console stuff they did they did and it was like the the, the generation of stuff is like, kind of right lines up. Yeah. yeah it's really weird like and things like like grouping grouping printers and scanners together like i'm pretty sure that's a thing we did it's been a long time it's all and stuff like apparel and sports and outdoors is probably just extra categories that came with the demo store software. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. And I'm just like I'm looking at some of this weird stuff like the okay, I don't I don't know. I don't know about like the series A series Walkman video. I I don't know if that's like the kind of random dead stock thing that might have still been showing, you know, in stock or something like that. And as far as I can tell, there's no reference to the type of SKU numbers that I know that NCIX used. So it's hard for me to say exactly what's going on here, but it's really weird. Really yeah, weird. I can say that much for sure. Home slash brand is a really weird mix of like the most generic companies that someone would throw on something ever, plus like D Link and Cisco because. There's some NCX stuff in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they have Microsoft, but then they have like Mont Blanc. Really weird. Okay. My MP3, oh, what is it? Home slash brand? I think so. I, the page is having a lot of issues for me oh, right home now. slash brand. Yeah. I'm, I'm having a real hard time here. I'm I, like, think, oh. I think we hugged it a little bit. Yeah. I think we love hugged it to death. Okay. Well, that's fine. I, 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 can, I can live with what we've seen so far. I think that's... Uh, you know, here's what I'll say. Good luck, guys. <laughs> I truly do wish you the best of luck with the um, the 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 offshoot and really never very successful domain um, for the U.S. that never had so anything in stock of my if old you, if you employer. Go to CS. Uh, go to where? Sorry cs-cart.com you don't actually need to go um and you go through their marketplace software and you select demo mm -hmm. which is the, the specific demo store we're seeing that everywhere 
one of their options once you jump through it, if you select all the things that you would select if you were NCIX, once you get to option five, there's I'm migrating from another e-commerce platform data transfer request. Interesting. I'm um, yeah, here I'm just gonna bring this back up. I'm migrating data transfer required. Okay. You know what though? I really doubt that there'd be I mean, I guess it would all just be like at the end of the day, there would be a database solution of some sort. I like I never obviously poked around in it. So NCIX's was custom coded. For better or for worse, it was their own homebrew thing. Mostly worse. Um, and so, but even if it was like some weirdo random thing, the database would contain fields that could be, I guess, if, if you're willing to get manual enough with it, could be ingested into someone else's platform. Things like SKU or vendor part number or description or color. Uh, they didn't have a field for color. It's like, oh, really? That was why we had to have separate product pages for every single variant of a device. I remember that. Like, oh, man. That's weird. <laughs> there were advantages to doing it that way. You know, it meant that when a, when a person went on a product page and it said in stock, it was like definitely in stock, not like some variants of it are in stock, except when it wasn't in stock because our stock wasn't accurate a lot of the time, like except for that. Um, I still remember like the amount of pushback internally when the decision was made by the higher ups to start reflecting um, in stock at a nearby supplier as in stock on the website. Uh, or in stock at one of our retail stores as in stock on the website, because what that meant was people would order something thinking it's going to ship right away. And most of the time, like we could do store transfers. We had trucks going every day to every store. But most of the time, the 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 purchaser would like try to bring one in from outside because it's actually very time consuming to do interstore transfers and it would take a couple of days and people would then get mad. And it's like, come on. And even if you do have it in stock at the store, generally speaking, trucks went out in the morning and then back at the end of the day or to the end of the back. Of the day. No, they went to each store and then back. So if it was one of the stores that you hit in the morning, then it might go out that day. But if it was one of the stores that you hit near the end of the day, then it wouldn't go out that day and it would be delayed by at least a day. So people would get mad about that as well. It was just, it was just stupid. There was a bunch of pushback, but we never changed it. And it created so many customer service issues and it was just totally unnecessary. And LTTstore.com will never treat you that way. When we say we're in stock, we are in stock, except when we like actually aren't because it says, guys, this is a pre-printed thing. And I had someone chase me about a, a, a pre-printed shirt um, pretty aggressively. Like, wait, why isn't it here yet? I'm like, well, because we said it was a pre-order campaign. For, um, we didn't say it would be there yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I found ncxus.com on the Wayback Machine from 2014. Nice. You want to send me that link? Uh, um, hit me sure. on Hangouts. That would be the easiest thing for me to copy into a thing. When's the... Okay, so this is actually from 2016, but the site was still... All right. Up. Hit so me was... up. I can't believe how long that website was up and like seemingly still taking orders after they had declared bankruptcy and there was no hope of it coming back. Yeah. That was absolutely ridiculous. That like should have been a much bigger problem, I think. Waiting for hangouts to load. Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah. right. I guess you probably don't have that uh, that there browser window open there, bud. Got to get nope. that get that there browser op window open, bud. Well, oh my goodness! I believe every in module you. has to take three years to load. There we go. Right? I believe in you. All right, here yeah. we go. You guys ready to go way back? We're going to go back on the way back machine. NCIX US. Wow. Look at this these. This is clear shot by product. Category. Look at these categories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it is. Luke. I just, you know, I, I know. I, did. I, I didn't know. link you to the home page. Okay, so printers and scanners. Okay, so control F. Printers. I didn't, the, I didn't see the MP3 speaker thing. No? Okay, okay. So maybe this is just someone else. Oh, um, I missed the oh, I missed the sale event art. Oh, 
that's a weird thing to be nostalgic about maybe hey tom you know what uh i know there used to be a website where he archived all that stuff uh oh man what was it called ncix banner vault or something power like up that. for the playoff sales event slashing prices free shipping over a hundred dollars Whoa. I think it actually might have been on the bannervault.com. It's gone. It it's gone. Yeah. So here's a thread. Here's a thread from our forum from a thousand years ago. Um the bannervault.com, but unfortunately the bannervault.com is down. See ya, bannervault.com. It was nice knowing ya. Yeah, so in Netlinked Weekly Episode 1, you mention it, and it is in the description. Huh. All right. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, they were really cool. He would spend pretty much most of his week on the sale banner, um, so like most of the beginning of the week. So it was like three days worth of artwork, and I really liked his style. Uh, and then he would work on sort of other graphic designer stuff on the other couple of days. I wonder what happened to him. He was uh, he was a good he was a good egg. I really liked him. Really yeah. easy to work with. And I, I, I there's a few people there that like I really miss, and they just did not deserve to go down with that ship at all. Yeah, hopefully he's doing all right. 